Is everybody ready for the picnic? Yeah. yeah. Wait, we're sleepy. Of course he fell asleep again. Oh no, what will we do? Two. It's not working. Of course not. There must be something we can do. Well, if there's something that gets sleepy excited, it's the reaction to volcanoes and alkenes. Problem, tertiary carbonus. <laughs> hey, it's working. Maybe if we keep talking about alkenes and alkenes, he might wake up. Mm -hmm. Let's get a book and look up some reactions. Shouldn't you already know all this? There's something so mystical about the reactions of alkanes and alkenes that even I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Two. <laughs> hey. So it says here that an alkane is a hydrocarbon, meaning a molecule composed of only hydrogens and carbons. All of the bonds in an alkane are single bonds, also known as sigma bonds. Wow, so exciting. What do they look like? Like this. What are some of the reactions that alkanes undergo? Two. It says here that one reaction that they can undergo is combustion. In the presence of oxygen, al alkanes will be converted into carbon dioxide and water. In this reaction, there is a release of energy in the form of heat. The, this amount of energy is called the heat of combustion. For example, this reaction of alkane or er, of ethane and oxygen. Yay! Yay! We all are. The sleepy isn't awake yet. What other reactions are alkanes involved in? Alkanes can also undergo halogenation. In the halogenation reaction, a CH bond is replaced with a CX bond, where the X represents a halogen atom. Halogen atoms are found in the seventh group of the periodic table, such as bromine and chlorine. How does halogenation occur? Like this. I don't know. This first step is called initiation. Using either heat or light, a halide, which is a molecule composed of two halogens, such as these chlorine atoms, can be split into two halide radicals. A radical is an atom or a molecule that has one unpaired valence electron, like so. My turn to read. Next is propagation. The halide radical interacts with the alkane, and in a process called hydrogen abstraction, the halide radical removes a hydrogen from the alkane leaving a free radical on one of the alkane's carbons. This is called an alkyl radical. Halide radicals and alkyl radicals, these radicals can combine in a process called termination. This forms a halogenated alkane, which completes the halogenation process. Why is everyone so excited? Sleepy still ain't woke up yet. But it's working. Look, he stopped snoring. Okay, if we talk about alkenes for a while, that might be enough to finally wake him up. What's an alkene? Of course, don't be still asking the simple questions. An alkene is a hydrocarbon like an alkane, but is not fully saturated with hydrogens. What does that mean? It means that an alkene must contain double bonds so that each carbon has a full octet, like this. Alkenes can undergo addition reactions. What is an addition reaction? Two. I'll show you. The first step is an electrophilic addition to the double bond. An electrophile is an ion or molecule that can accept electrons to form a bond. In this example, hydrogen is the electrophile because it has a partial positive charge from being bonded to bromine, which is electronegative. Then what? The double bond becomes a single bond due to the addition of the electrophile. This creates what is called a carbocation, or a carbon with a partial positive charge. This occurs because the carbon has less than four bonds. This partial positive will attract a nucleophile such as bromine. A nucleophile is an electron-rich ion or molecule that wishes to make a bond with a positively charged atom. So why did the hydrogen bond to this carbon instead of that one? Oh, I know this. It's called Markovnikov's rule. Two. What is that? A two. Markovnikov's rule says that the hydrogen will bond to the carbon that has the most hydrogens already bonded to it. This carbon is already bonded to two hydrogens, while the other one isn't bonded to any. That's why only one orientation is possible. Can alkenes undergo other types of reactions? One type of reaction is called a hydration reaction. Like water? Yeah, that's what hydration means. Anyways, this is what a hydration reaction looks like.
there's an electrophilic addition from one of the hydrogen atoms from the hydronium atoms ions in the water. This forms a carbocation on the other carbon. Now the water molecule will bond to the carbocation through a nucleophilic attack. Is that all? No, don't interrupt me. The reaction isn't done yet because the positive charge is transferred to the oxygen. This can be, be, this can be fixed by a proton transfer to another water molecule. The oxygen in the water will attract a hydrogen attached to the charged oxygen. This will result in the removal of one of these hydrogens. The product of this reaction is an alcohol. Oh my, everyone look! <sighs> I just had the strangest dream about the most beautiful chemistry. <laughs> so now time, get up, sleepy. Let's go eat. I'm so hungry. Okay. Me too. <laughs>